current trend suggests that my generation could be the one that sees African countries transform themselves into modern economies. This observation is just one of the many that is coming out of increasing use of data to understand the world that we live in. Like many people, I did not understand how to derive meaning from data. What started the change for me was a cause in which I used a simple statistics package to learn how to interpret data. I now believe that good statistical understanding is easy to learn and should be accessible to everyone. I also believe that it is invaluable in enabling informed decision making which is so vital in creating a stable and sustainable society. In Kenya, we've had success at developing statistical understanding across academic levels and disciplines. The challenge is to make it scalable, or even just sustainable. For this, we require new tools. In Burkina Faso recently, a discussion I had with researchers on what statistics package should I use surprised me when we found there was currently no sustainable solution for them. We've identified a gap in the statistical software available. We need software that is easy to use, even by people with low computer literacy. It should encourage good statistical practices and learning. It should also be free so that it is practical at scale. And lastly, open source so that it is adaptable and sustainable. I was skeptical about the need for yet another statistics package, but I'm now convinced there is a gap. The need is everywhere, not just in Africa, but wouldn't it be nice if African talent could take the lead in the development. By leveraging existing resources and collaborations, we could create a finished product within a year that would satisfy our immediate requirements for just $50,000. This initiative is very exciting and it contributes to the work that we already do with our partners in Kenya. The Statistical Services Center fully supports it, but I'm personally excited about it because it will be useful for work in other parts of the world in particular in Latin America. I'm excited by the possibility that tools designed for and built in Africa could be useful everywhere. Of course, we don't just want to create the software. With your support, we would like to do more. We would like to work with lecturers to shift the focus from the theory to the concepts of statistics. We would also like to have a broad multilingual audience. Eventually, our dream is to bring these ideas into our work with kids at school. I've been working with the team in Kenya for the last five years on their projects for school children, such as maths camps and supporting maths clubs in schools. It's been an enriching experience for me, and what's been fascinating is that the ideas and activities developed in Kenya have been equally effective when implemented back here in the UK. Culturally, I like the idea of crowdsourcing. It is like a Kenyan Arambe, which is not only a way of raising funds, but also building a community on a common journey. We strongly believe in the proverb, to go fast, go alone. To go far, go together. Please join us on our journey.